Hi Aquarius, I'm Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you're well and safe. And welcome back my Cyber Angel, thank you for your support and I hope you enjoy the videos as well. And new people welcome as well, please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos will be loaded up. And welcome, I hope you're safe and healthy as well. I do go live a Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so if you would like to have a free card or you would like to ask a question, then you are welcome. I will answer the questions that have been donated by a super chat or a super sticker. If you would like an extensive reading, then you can find the information underneath the video, in the description box and in the screen on that white dot. I'm doing uh, three oracle cards, tarot cards and the crystal ball this week. And your crystal ball, I've just cleaned it and I'm going to see what your crystal ball is saying. Okay. I have a small smoky quartz with all kinds of things in it and I love it. It was given to me. Okay. I think you're balancing out now. I think your health is a lot better, although you might be stressed because of what is going on in the lockdown and feeling uh, locked in or locked up or uh, pushed into a corner. I think you are also on the other side enjoying the relaxation. I also see a lot of things swerving around. Something might not be clear to you. Um, I think you've got a lot of choices to make. There are some good moments coming your way. Uh, I see a lot of glitter, golden glitter, so it could be money. It could be abundance, abundance of love, abundance of, what of abundance. I get the card Ten of Pentacles in my head or the Ten of Cups Happy Families Reunion. Okay. I also see the letter P. The letter P. I'm writing this down whilst I'm doing it, otherwise I'll forget. A letter P. And then I get the word prominent, prominent, prominent in my head. The letter P. And V for victory, victory. Let's see whether the cards will add up to the crystal ball or, ba um, how do you know, come together. Uh, it did in Capricorn, it was amazing. You might also feel a bit, yes, that's it, isolated, isolated. Perhaps not with your back to the wall or cornered, um, but you might feel a bit isolated. But there's definitely something is growing, something is growing. I th you might have done an investment, that investment is growing. I'm seeing something growing in the crystal. Wow. Okay. Sorry, I'm in, in my in, in my own little world. And I also think there will be news from afar across the water perhaps. There will be news coming across the water. I see a a big bird and that brings news I don't know a different perspective perhaps intriguing let's have a look what the cards are going to say for you Aquarius let's see what the cards are going to say for you okay that is Millie that you're hearing if you hear anything Millie's running around our little mascot from the channel. She's beautiful. I love my fur babies. OK, 
Okay, I'll take one from the bottom, and that is the Three of Pentacles. And I'll take one from the top, and we've got the Mother of Cups, the Queen of Cups, Wednesday. And I take one from the middle, and that is Death, Transformation. And down somewhere below the bottom, and we've got the Mother of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Underneath the deck, we've got the Hierophant. Okay. Well, this is a new deck and oh, uh, an other deck than I usually use. This is the Wild w uh, Unknown Tarot. Okay. On Monday, you have the Three of Pentacles. So that means you have recognition for your hard work. You're no longer the apprentice. You have become uh, an expert or a qu qualified person, a specialist. Awesome. You might be getting a promotion or you might be getting a job if you haven't had a job for a long time. And then we have the Queen of Cups, Mother of Cups. The Queen of Cups is, of course, Scorpio, but don't exclude any of the other two water signs, Pisces and Cancer. But the Queen of Cups is a nurturing, a beautiful, caring, loving, passionate, nurturing person. Also sexy and sensual. So what some of you might be meeting a Scorpio or a Cancer or a Pisces. So that could be a new friend coming into your life. If you're not meeting somebody like that, then you might be taking better care of yourself or a little you might be spoiling yourself a little bit more. Okay, that's in the middle of the week. Then at the end of the week we have the death card. This is not a real death. This is a transformation. So it's I always call this the card you're no longer a caterpillar you're not the apprentice you are the butterfly you are qualified so look at this energy all throughout the week and at the weekend you could be meeting the mother of wands a fire sign so the water signs are prominent and the fire signs and the queen of wands that is a Leo. So you could be meeting a Leo. Or getting together with a friend that's a Leo. It doesn't have to be a female. Although it is a, a mother or a, the queen. It could also be a nurturing male. She definitely knows what she wants and she goes for it. She takes action and she's creative. She'll come held to high water she'll have what she wants because she's creative she can move and wind you around her li little finger this is what I'm getting with this card because the snake is curly and she's ready to jump to get what she wants if this is not uh, somebody that you're meeting then you might have fire in you this week or you might have fire in your chi chart and you're coming action and you're being creative because you desperately want something okay and then at the bottom of the deck we have the hierophant and the hierophant is also a person that is represented and the hierophant um, is the hierophant is Taurus, so you could be meeting a Taurus or seeking advice from a Taurus. You could also seek advice from a teacher, a professional, a father figure. Um, it could be a mature man, okay? So it could also be a professional Taurus, as the Hierophant represents Taurus. Now let's have a look. Something is prominent. Uh, 
something is growing yes that's true that was the crystal ball something is growing because you've just become a fully fledged talented and qualified person you're specializing in something um, you've got recognition and you are transforming you're leaving the past an old phase of life and going into a new phase you're the butterfly now so perhaps this could be a teacher like I said so you might be getting your certificate or you might be qualifying f to become a teacher and you might be going uh, to your old teacher or career officer to seek advice about career or about doing a, a job as a teacher or an instructor or an instructress awesome somebody that's caring and I'm getting PE physical PE in English is physical um, training a coach yeah, there's all old words that I'm using most probably and that's why I'm trying to explaining, explain them to you and I'm using the uh, healing uh, the healing of the strength of the archangels this deck okay I better put them out there and it says blessings count your blessings Aquarius count your blessings don't look at what you don't have look at what you have you've got so much and I also get a feeling that you are feeling at home where you are at the moment because look you've put down roots and this is the tree of life and I also feel that you've got your passion your heart chakra your solar plex is open to receive new things and that you are a nurturing type the Queen of Cups and that you love doing what you wish to do or that you are doing okay you might even go into a job of care nursing or nannying or uh, kindergarten teaching in the kinder kindergarten yeah this is what I'm getting through you have victory that's what you had in the crystal ball as well prominent prominent there is something very prominent that you want that is prominent okay what is also prominent or clear is that you've come up to the next level two cards okay now your Archangel Michael card is healing it's a green card and it's visual memory so what you see you remember but it is also your third eye clearing so your spirituality your third eye that is in your uh, just above your eyes between your eyes is opening up you're open to spirituality or the paranormal you're more sensitive Archangel Michael delivers powerful healing to remove a negative visual memory from your mind's eye so something from the past that wasn't very pleasant is being removed by Michael it's a healing card because it's green but green is also um, space uh, also money uh, health okay like the green in the tree awesome you are being blessed lime green well green 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 is your color this week Aquarius lime green angel feather and you've got an uh, emerald green a little bit and you've got the green in the tree and green planets it's really exuberating green today money is about to manifest what did I say money Ooh. okay the angels ask that you feel a marvelous feeling of anticipation as you are about to receive an abundance of money money there you go it looks yellow but it is lime green so you can meditate on lime green you can wear lime green or you can drink lime this will help to um, you are what you eat it will help you detoxify to get less stressed 
to get back in balance awesome so nurture yourself like I said you've come a far way you're going for what you want and you're seeking advice on how to do it most probably from somebody that's already doing it or, or has experienced things like that I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care and uh, be blessed stay safe and I hope to hear from you what, what you succeeded in so take care sweeties love you please share and like thank you